Ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Friday night, fight night, a new addition to the PAA UK and Ireland YouTube channel. And wow, we have got two big of the juicy men here, two of the biggest, two of the strongest, and they've both got beef with each other. Please welcome the vanilla gorilla, nine times drug free powerlifting champion Mitchell Tut. And the one and only Stephen Rhino Hurst. How are we doing, guys? All right. Yeah, to some degree, all right, yeah. Oh, no. People can put shit on. People can say things are fake. But I know that you two genuinely have a bone to pick with each other. But before you start bawling and shouting, I'm just going to catch up with you both and just see how you're doing, first of all. And uh, Steve, you're looking quite attractive up there. How are you doing, pal? Always, as always, mate. Yeah, not so bad. Been busy at work today? Yeah, I've only been in about an hour, actually. I'm a bit knackered tonight, in all fairness. Took it out. I'm able to end it there, mate. I've been working 100%. I'm quite lucky not to be furloughed, really. And Mitchell, how's things in Sainsbury's? Uh, calming down a little bit, but um, still a few arguments here and there. But everyone seems to be a little bit um, more relaxed. You've not Come had to jab any, any old lady's eyes out, have you? Not yet, but it's always on the cards. Uh, guys, <laughs> it all went down. Um, it all went down the other day. Daniel uh, and Steve did a on Mighty's phone, and basically <laughs> it's all kicked off. I've just had uh, Daniel and uh, Josh on, and uh, they were quite pleasant to each other, to be honest. But I've got the feeling, looking at them stone wall faces you two are carrying, that this isn't. No, I'm no. fine. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy. In fact, Steve, you're the one with a big gripe, buddy. Well, it was all, in all fairness, end of the day, we all, we all have banter with each other and all that. But the bottom line is, when, when you start delving into somebody's personal kind of issues and making a joke out of it, it takes the piss of it. And I'm not the one that takes fucking, I don't, I don't, I don't take armour to that shit. What did I say? Well, at the end of the day, I'm not, I'm not going to go into it because it's, it's a forgotten thing for me now. But the bottom line is, regarding me and obviously my break with the relationship, that's a personal issue that's still quite tender now. And the bottom line is, the thing that the, the thing you said about it, at the end of the day, you don't come out with that shit. That, that's beyond fucking banter. And I to be honest, I, 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 don't tolerate, I don't tolerate shit like that. All I said was I'm not surprised. Yeah, well, end of the day, mate. I, I know you are, and I know what you said. At the end of the day, even the comments that were on there said you shouldn't have even said that, so... He said it now. Anyway, it's done, and it's good enough for me, that, so... We'll leave it at that, well, and end of the day, we'll just be gentlemen, settle it on the fucking table, as far as I'm concerned. Mitchell, what have you got to say to that one? Well, it's already been settled on the table with 6-0. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's left arm, end of the day, mate. Who gives a fuck about left arm? Let's go right arm, and I'm pretty sure, guaranteed 100%, you've fucking got, not, you've got no chance. No chance. I, um... I just think it'll be too easy. Oh, well, end of day, mate. Fucking grip up. Let's it's go. Just, you you like said the same. You said the same things about the left arm. I can't see the right arm being any different. First time I pulled your left arm, no excuses. I joined the table. My team knows as well as Paul does. I, I came there seventy percent with an injury. But end of the day, I gripped up. You won. Had your farm was you won again. Left arm. But end of the day, I don't give a fuck about my left arm. Everybody knows that. Right arm. You ain't got a fuck chance, mate. I'll tell you why, have, why have I got no chart? I mean, what have you ever shown on your right arm? And oh. I've got trophies. We've all got trophies on right arm. The bottom line is, everybody knows I don't do left arm. Left arm, I couldn't give a shit about. Right but arm. No, but no, nobody gonna... knows about your right arm either. Prove it. Grip up. Let's go. Oh, bit easy. Steve, Steve, what, what makes you so confident that you can take out Mitch? Well, the thing is, I just, end of the day, I, I know people who pulled Mitch on right time, and to be honest, we had a, nothing, we've never pulled, obviously, Mitch and myself on right time anyway, but properly, but a couple of years ago, when I fucking trashed his brother 3-0, it were, obviously, that's that, thing. let's just clarify, me and Dan sort of only ever had one super match ever in our lives, and he got fucking annihilated 3-0, by the way. And uh, on that same day, again, when Mitch bit me the first time, we gripped up on right arm for a very short while. Give and take, it was at the end of the sucking training day. And uh, it was very, very even in the middle. So fresh for fresh. I don't think you'd have much chance against me. 
<laughs> so I'll laugh what you want, grip up and we'll prove it. Easy done. I'd, I'd do it now in my back guard. Well, not in the day, mate. I'll, I'm easy. I'll go anywhere. We'll, we'll get locked down out of the way and we'll get it on. I'm easily all for it. Yeah. Are, are you not... looking at the match that Mitch had recently with John to Steve? Are you, are you basing it off that? And if you were, what well, reason? The thing you is, the, the thing is, on a, actually being on a serious note, Fair enough, the team hasn't been together for the last couple of months. And the thing is, John T actually, he, skillfully and technique-wise, he beat Mitch. And we all know that I can throw John T all over the show, like a lump it. <laughs> I think so, there's a lot being made of this uh, John T match, and I respect him and all that. But he pinned me once, then I pinned him in the strap like it was nothing. And then I slipped out, and Dave wanting to keep his vice president position <laughs> club torture head coach then said that I'd touched the my fingers were below or some <clears throat> so I actually see that Jonty match as a draw. So if if Jonty ever wants a right hand match again, because I've pinned Jonty more than he's ever pinned me, then uh, absolute bullshit. Yeah. John beat you fair and square that day, that's bullshit. <laughs> this is this is guys, this is not about John T. This no. is about you two big bohemers going at it. Mitch, you've just heard what Steve's had to say. Can, can, he, can he beat you? Is there even a, a, a small chance he can pin you around? His chances are slim and none, and uh, Slim's out of town. So, Absolutely talks, fucking cocky, Lander, tell you now. Just talks the same bollocks every time. Okay, now that's fucking All you do is talk fucking shit. Loads of delusion. Everyone knows it. The whole arm wrestling world knows. It's I think you'd be surprised how many people think they're a Men won't awesome. even come up. Won't even turn up to the competition. Did one competition last year. I did like four or five, something like that. Saw him at Farm Wars, I think, take on an old granddad. Yeah, that, that's purely because your brother shit out. Let's just add that yeah, one. Yeah, that, that's fair enough. He didn't turn up for that. But, that's the only competition I saw you at all year. I don't give a shit about obviously the past or anything like that. Let's just grip up and get it settled. Because I'll tell you now, I want to beat you. Fucking embarrass you. Simple as that. <laughs> You're embarrassing yourself right now. Talking no, so I much grow up, you, I grow up, you dick. I can't. I'm not that. You're a fucking prick, that's why. You're a fucking prick. Bloated <laughs> fucking <laughs> mess. Grip I don't know why you're even called Rhino. You can't, you're, not a, you're not strong. You're just a bloated fucking me d bowl mess. Dave, I'll fuck me. Grow up, mate, you daft cunt. You know, just grip up and shut up, mate. You're fucking boring. You need some material, mate. You can't just keep saying grip up. You need some material. I'm embarrassing you right now. Just like I embarrass you on the table. Bitch, shut up, mate. Seriously. You I'm not interested in your bullshit. Here. It's meant to be an interview. You're meant to sh like, have some material to speak about. I'll tell you what, I can't waste more time on you. You're fucking lucky you've got my time now, you prick. You're lucky you've got my time, you underachiever. You ain't oh, achieved nothing. Up. In your whole fucking life. Yeah, yeah. Pretend you're an arm wrestler. Anyone can put a picture of a dumbbell on the floor. No one's even seen you ever lift a weight. Is that all you've got? No one's ever... Are you just going to repeat what I say? I just said that to you. you got to come right. up with your yeah, own I'm not, I'm not interested in tit for tat, mate. So I, I came on this thing just to secure a match. That's all I'm interested in. If you want to go... Yeah, on this thing just to say, let's grip up. Let's grip up. Uh, shut you up, you board and spot. I'll fucking win easy. Yeah, oh, shut up. Oh, Mitch, Mitch. Mitch. Why, why do you win easy though, Mitch? Why? For what reason do you pull through Rhino easy, right, Andy? Just far too strong for him. <laughs> Six near already on the left stand. What's going to be any different on the right? I mean, you, 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 you were known as a left-handed puller though, Mitch. Like, overall, like, everyone looks at you like Tom Atherton. They do. They look at Tom Atherton as being a, a top left-handed puller. Uh, the, the discount is right. Do you think people are discounting your right arm as well? I don't know, really. I've not really ever thought about it. I know I am generally seen as a left-handed puller, but um, my right uh, seems to do all right more in super matches than tournaments. I think it's just because everyone has a strong right, don't I? Yeah, I think but Yeah, I balance. agree. I'm probably not seen as a right-handed puller, but still, it's still a strong arm because yeah, it's still a tough to me, isn't it? <laughs> and is your aspiration still in that super heavyweight division or are you going to as, as you progress forward in your arm wrestling career are, are you going to judge the weight then 
Uh, see how it goes, because like um, 105 didn't go too well for me. And um, I just feel stronger around sort of 110, something like that. But um, see how it goes in the next Super Heavy. And if it doesn't go to plan, then I'll have a rethink back to the drawing board. Yeah, well, I mean, both of you guys are in that Super Heavy way. I mean, you're closer to 110, uh, Mitch. What, what are you weighing? Maybe 115? About 112, 13, something like that. Steve's in, in, in like the 120s now. He's 125. He's dropped quite a bit of, bit of weight. Um, what, you know, when you, when you put it on the line, are you, are you going to set, settle at a weight? Or is it just no matter what weight you are, you're going to go at it? As in, will I just pull super heavy? Yeah. Yeah, next tournament, I'll just be in the super heavy. No, I, sorry, Mitch. I meant together when you face each other. Oh, yeah, I'll be heavy. Yeah. I'll be what I am now, like 112, probably. Something like that. I, I, don't, mean, I don't need to weigh 150 kilo to beat Rhino, do I? Do whatever you want. You're not fucking winning. Simple. <laughs> I, I must say, um, I've had a few messages today asking me how I think this match is going to how, how it's going to go. Um, I won't lie to you. There's been a couple of people who are disgruntled and don't think we should be having super matches for novices or what I'd like to say, okay, they're not necessarily super matches. I call them super pulls. Um, I sort of disagree. I think that that you guys should get your, your, your first crack at the whip. They have amateur kickboxing. They have amateur uh, MMA. Why not have yeah, amateur definitely. Uh, arm wrestling? It's, it's exciting. I, I personally, one of the most exciting matches I've ever seen was uh, John T and Steve when they pulled left and right-handed in Rosenville Rampage. That was unbelievable. When you yourself, see, Mitch... Four years ago, no one all that. Uh, when Mitch and Tom Addison pulled left-handed, there was a bigger cheer in that room than I've heard for a long, long time. It, you know, no, so it's good. Think, you know, a lot of people are following it, so I think we should, we should put it on. Even There's though I loved that, I fucking loved it. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of people that are going to be interested in seeing you two go at it because it is genuine... Um, dislike for each other and I, I know because I'm obviously I'm, I'm, I'm friends with you both but Stephen's obviously a former teammate of mine um, <laughs> why is that? <laughs> I think we all know what's going on there but we're not going to touch on that subject um, but you, oh, we all still know that I'm, I'm close to Stephen and he's a personal friend of mine um, but it, it really is a, 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 a touch and go match um, there's men, Tom Atherton thinks that uh Steve's going to be able to top roll you. John T. Murphy thinks that you're going to you're, you're going to cream Steve three nil, or well, it'd be best of seven, so it'd be, it'd be seven nil. But um, so you know the cards are up in the air on this. Um, what I'm saying to you guys is, if this match is proposed, put forward, and sealed and dealed, will it happen in Northern Ireland on Sunday the 11th at the Warehouse Gym in Portadown? What dates that up then? then? That'll be the 10th and 11th uh, is the Six Nations, and that is uh, October, 10th, 11th of October. Uh, Saturday will be the Six Nations, and then Sunday we have a massive training day. Before the training day, we're willing to put on a, a little uh, Super Pull Spectacular featuring three or four, maybe even five very, very top amateur and intermediate matches. If both of you guys are willing to put it on the line though, then I'll get this uh, the wheels in motion. Of course I am. I'd do it now in my fucking back garden, wouldn't I? <laughs> Steve? Yeah, I'm easy, mate. If you want to, if you, if you want to go for October at the tournament, 100%, get it on. I mean, what what gives you both the impression that you can beat each other? Is it is it just the preferred, or you've said you've locked up at this competition? No, uh, in, no in, in fact, I'm, 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 just more, I'm, I'm more than confident and capable of beating Rich on my on right arm, 100%. What? I have no who, doubt. Who, who have you beaten or what weaknesses have you seen in Mitch to make you have that belief? No, I mean, I, I'm man enough to admit, Mitch has always kind of got the better of me on left arm, you know what I mean? His left does, out, does my left, that's just how it's been. But and it's been fucking a lifetime ever since I gripped up with Mitch on right arm at that tra on the same training day, but... I don't know. I mean, I can Jonty beat him. I can beat Jonty and stuff like that. And he never caused me an issue on that day when we had a little pull together. Given it was a year and a half, two years ago. 
But I just, I just don't think he's got what it takes to beat me right arm. I just don't. Me left, me right is totally different to left. You know what I mean? Left, I couldn't give a shit about. And Mitch, what the same question? I just the same confidence I go into any match. Um, if he takes confidence from that jaunty win, then that's that's um, better for me. Because they'll just be underestimating me, won't he? But there's no way he'd ever engage me in a in a hook. He'd trust. Try and take my fingers. He doesn't have the, you know, at least Tom Atherton has the balls to just hook up with me because he knows he's got the, the strength. But um, I don't think Rhino will have the confidence in his own power to match my power. Oh, I'll, I'll jump inside of you straight away. I'm not looking fear of that at all. You say that now, but you won't. I'll drag you inside, don't worry. You say that, but you won't. All right, well, we'll see. You'll shit yourself instantly and be like, hey, fingers, fingers, hey, fingers, you, you fingers, 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 fingers. You've not got any, you don't have any attributes that even begin to fucking make me fucking... Oh, you! You've won fuck all! Yeah. I, what, can't even remember, I can't even remember seeing you pin anyone on the right other than an old granddad who'd retire, come out retired. Yeah, yeah. Boring, boring, old show shit. Great bottom, quite we'll boring go. on this interview, to be honest. Quite. Uh, I, I mean, lucky I've got a whiskey here, or I've been fucking falling asleep. Paul probably, Paul's probably happy I'm on this. I, I, I'm just sat here impartial in between listening to two guys go at it who genuinely have a dislike. I mean, do you genuinely have a dislike for Stephen, Mitch? Not really. He's just got to be in his bonnet about me because of some comment I said. But that's what I'm like. That's what I, I, just, I don't really have a filter when I speak. And it often gets me in trouble. But there's no trouble here. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I'm relaxed. If he's stressed about it, losing sleep, that's up to him, isn't it? I wouldn't go as far as losing sleep. You're not that important. You look like you're losing sleep. No, no, I can assure you I'm look fine. A bit, look a bit tired. That's because I have a proper job. Getting a bit skinny. You losing sleep? No, no, not at all, mate. I just, don't, sleep, I just mate. Don't, I don't tolerate you're children. Stressed. You're stressed. Have a whiskey if you're stressed. You're okay. I just want to pull. That's all I want to do. Get it all over with. Mitch, um, people have said your hand and wrist is a bit susceptible. I've heard on the grapevine that you're remedying this issue and you're making fantastic gains. So although we do see a lot of hammer swinging and deadlifting, I do know you've been hitting the arm wrestling Pacifics. Yeah. Um, the team is back in full, full swing and I know you have yeah. it hard. Um, give me your your 12 months in front now. Where, where are you going in the next 12 months? Well, during this um, this COVID thing has actually been like um, a blessing really for training my hand and wrist because there's not much else other than my bar. I'm doing a bit of shoulders, a bit of chins, uh, some deadlifts obviously. And um, there's not much else I can do other than train my wrist. So I've been training my hand and wrist every day. And in the last few sessions we've had, secret sessions at the garage, um, there's been noticeable differences since I've started training my wrist more. Because before all this, I barely trained it, to be honest. So I'm lucky I've got as far as I did, to be honest with you. And Steve, what have you been doing in lockdown to, to remedy any weaknesses that obviously, you may have had? Obviously, obviously I've not been... Uh... Obviously, I had no table time, really, but I've been smashing two, three sessions a day. Up at 5 a.m., fingers, wrist skills every morning, you know, back pressure one day, next training, side training, up training, all sorts. Just really getting a good, obviously, working a one-rep max once a week. And it's, um, weight's coming it's down. It's years, but, uh, but probably the not. Are going up. I mean, I, I know that you've been boasting out some weight, Steve, that you've been doing some big 60-kilo lifts from the floor. Yeah, I've lifted admit. nothing. I know that you've been getting 60 kilo off the floor, you've been saying. That's some weight. Are you, are you, oh, are you yeah. Well, no, I, know, I, know, I know for a fact in general, my actual my general strength level is through the roof at the minute, which is why I'm even <laughs> going to win. So, end of the day, mate. He ain't lifted nothing, has he? No one's ever seen him lift a weight. I mean, you're, you're both from powerlifting backgrounds. He's so, not from a powerlifting background, is he? That, that's what you, you must feel before you start training, right? You barely lift his own body weight out of bed in the morning. 
Shut up, mate, you daft cunt. <laughs> no, but I, I, I believe Steve was a move from powerlifting into arm wrestling. Um, he was probably yeah, shit at that as well. Pardon? He was probably yeah, shit at that as well. Olympic gym and Ashton the line before, before I came arm wrestling. Fucking Olympic gymnast now. The bullshit's never ended. Shut up, you daft cunt, if you're not going to listen. <laughs> Try and Guys, be, before before I, I wrap you both up, um, Stephen, give me your yep. final words on why you believe that you're going to take out Mitch. He's right. He's just he's right arm just isn't, isn't up to mind. I guarantee it, one hundred percent. I just don't think he's strong enough to pull through me right arm, inside or top roll, inside or outside. That's just that's just that's just what I generally believe. And Mitch, you don't believe it yourself. We'll see on the day. That's all I need to say. You don't. Need, I, don't I don't need to give you any more of my time. Probably best, it's probably best you don't talk anymore. Mitch, final words. Break. You're fucking boring as fuck. You're boring. This, it's <laughs> lucky I'm on this interview. You're boring, fat cum. Right, hurry up, you prick. Get it over with. Right. Um, Rhino, I'll be easy. He's weak physically, but he's even weaker mentally. And that's why he stands no chance at all. He's already probably shitting himself now. <laughs> you shut up, you daft cunt. Fuck you know. He said daft cunt five times. He, he can't you, come fuck up fuck with any know. material. I don't need to because I'm not a fucking child like you. You look like a great big bloated milky child. I'm not the one who puts my garden on fucking teddy bears. Have you got your jammers on? Do you sleep in it, Woody? It's a bit of fucking rich argument when you, you, you have got a yeah? on your teddy bear, you daft cunt. You have, you have a little light tap on the back and burp. Oh, Mitch, seriously. Giant baby. Bob, shut up. Giant baby. I'm not the one who pauses in back garden. I'm going to cry. I'm probably going to cry once this interview ends. <laughs> Let me know how that goes. Nah, you Guys. Might not. Um, that's enough. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to stop it there. Otherwise, it's going to go all night long. Thank you both for coming on and just earning your, earning your gripes. This match is going to have a, all the little twists and turns. and I'm sure it's going to have a, an amazing build-up. Get yourselves ready for the 11th of October. The big Super Bowl. The Vanilla Granilla against the Rhino. Stephen Hurst, Mitchell Tutt, Stephen Rhino. Thank you so much. And I'm going to catch up with you later. See you later, Paul. Cheers.